where what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a summary of to give the public a summary. <clears throat> The Montana News comes to the public once again regarding the Ramirez case, the Ramirez sh uh, shooting when Grant Morris was uh, shot by Officer uh, Grant Morrison. I want to give the public a um, summary of what took place, a brief summary of what happened to the Ramirez family. The estate of Richard Ramirez, age 38, uh, was fatally shot by Officer Grant Morrison on April of 2014. The family has now filed a lawsuit uh, in November of 2016 against the City of Billings, uh, the Billings Police Department, Billings Chief of Police Rich St. John, both individually and Grant Morrison individually among other defendants. The estate of Richard Ramirez has asked for a jury trial and the case has been moved to the federal court. Just hours after coroner's inquest took place, Julio Ramirez's wife died on March 26, 2015. And then Julio Ramirez, then 70, suffered a stroke. The family has suffered much grief and death and health issues due to the murder of their relative Richard, who was shot by Grant Morrison, who is known in the community in Billings as a bad cop who needs to be fired and justice applied to him for the murder of not just one individual but two individuals that he has killed in cold blood. Plainly speaking, Grant Morris is a scumbag that should have never been given a badge. According to many people in the public, Grant Morrison is a disgrace to the community of Billings who, has, who as an officer of the law represents Billings. By Grant Morrison's own actions, he has placed himself in the corruption spotlight and no longer can be claimed he and no longer can he claim that he is a private individual. Grant Morrison is now legally considered a public figure and is fair game for anyone who wants to take him down. The Montana News wants to clarify to our viewers, the public, taking him down is clearly okay as long as it's legal. Will that affect his family? Yes, but that is a small cost compared to the two Ramirez deaths he caused a now forever grieving family. Now we turn our attention to the latest shooting at the Lazy KT Motel that happened on October 18, 2017 at 108 a.m. by two rookie officers, Officer Matthew Edwards and Jeremiah Adams. Edwards has only five years under his belt and Adams has only four years under his belt. I'm here obviously with the, with the Ramirez family. If uh, uh, the senior Ramirez, uh, will you uh, identify yourself to the public, please? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'm to uh, Julio Ramirez, and I'm Richard David Ramirez's dad, and I'm from Billings, I was born in Billings. Okay, and you, young man? You're Ryan? And Ryan, how old are you? Ten. Ten. And Richard would be what to you? How would he be related to you? My uncle. That would be your uncle. Okay. And uh, you, ma'am? Hi, I'm Julie Ramirez. I'm the oldest of my mom, dad's kids. Um, of Leo and Betty Ramirez. I'm the oldest of all of his eight kids. And me and my brother Richard were very, very close, and this is really hard for me. Okay, and you? I'm Renee Ramirez. Um, the, Richard was my brother. Okay, and you? Alexandria Nicoretta. Richard was my uncle. Okay, thank you for coming here uh, so that we can interview you, and thank you for giving us this interview exclusive. Um, out of curiosity, have any other media even given you guys any in attention at all? What do you think that is? Because they know what they did was wrong. I mean, they know that Morgan Morrison murdered my brother in cold blood, and 
and that I can't wait to go to federal court to have our day in court and all the truth things going on. And you know, that they treat my brother like an animal. They killed him, on, murdered him, on, my brother on purpose. I mean, and she, say John backs him up, and it's, it's not right. So, so think of it happening in Billings, Montana. So let me ask you guys: When you heard that the Billings police shot yet another person, how did that make you feel? How did that make you feel, Mr. Ramirez? Well, it made me really hurt a lot. It made me feel bad. So did it bring back all the horrible memories once again? Yes. And uh, you, the uh, how did that make you feel when you had heard that the Billings police, two officers, shot yet another man? It made me scared. It's scared. It made me so sad. I think about my brother every day and I just can't get over it. I mean, well, how, they, how they murder him and how they treat him like an animal. I mean, and I just, when I heard about this, I just, I said, not you know, another one. I mean, and Chief J. Job backs him up, backs him up, but they did nothing wrong. And it's always just justified and it's not right. So, we've interviewed you before yes. and You've been very, very uh, verbal in regards to the Billings police and their corruption. Do you feel that here again we have another case of police officers acting outside of their training? Yes. In this particular case, the officers uh, didn't call for backup. Now, wasn't that, in other words, they did the shooting first and then they called for backup. Wasn't that what happened to your relative, your brother? Yes. Okay. So there's a similarity there, isn't there? Yeah. And in this particular case, these officers had gone looking for this guy at the hotel earlier, didn't find him, so then they waited, laid in waiting for him to return. And in your case, wasn't Richard followed yes. by Grant Morrison. In other words, Grant Morrison was waiting and uh, laying in wait for him. Stalking him out, yes. Basically stalking him. He seeked him out. And these officers sought out this man. Isn't that kind of similar? Yes. 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 They already knew Richard Ramirez was in the car, you know. And okay. the officer went to my mom and dad's house th that day before, you know, looking for my brother Richard. So, they're not following the protocol. I mean, you know, they should be waiting for backup. And the chief told him he, he okay okays everything that the officers do. It's not right. It's they should be waiting for backup. I mean, if he, he shouldn't even shot my brother and murder him or the guy at Lazy Kate. That's not right. So tell me, how is the shooting at the Lazy Kate Motel similar emotionally to the shooting of Richard? How does this, how, how has this affected you hearing that this guy was shot? And we passed on lots of memories of Richard and my mom. And I just okay. go back to see yeah. how it was before. But when same, Richard died, it. it devastated our whole family. And we're, we're not ever going to be the same. And then my mom got a year later, and just so much to handle. I mean. So let me ask, be point blank and ask you Do the Billings police have a good reputation in town? No. Okay. You all said that in unison. No. <laughs> Why do they don't they have a good reputation with the public? And you guys deal with the public all the time. Why do you think the Billings police have a horrible reputation in Billings? Because the way they are. Well, you can't even trust the cop. The cop here, you know, in fear, you know, you get, what happens if you get pulled over? Are you trying to see me and not Richard Schuster? And how they treat you. Yeah, they've harassed us. They, to this day, to this day, they still come on my house and harass me, and you know, and, and sit there wet, watching my house. I don't think nothing wrong. I mean, they need to leave, leave, us, leave us alone. I mean, okay. It's so like let me ask you a question. Us. Go ahead. It's like they're taunting us. Yeah. Taunting you. So yes. the Billings police taunt your family even after they killed your yeah, relative. Yeah, just recently they've been doing this in my house. Okay. So let me ask you this. In all fairness to all the officers. Are all the cops bad, Julio? Um, um, I'd say yes. You, you, okay, in your opinion, all of Billings police are bad. Okay. How about you? I think they all stick together and they all have each other's backs, no matter what happens or if they are in the wrong. They're always they always have each other's backs. Okay. I've always been treated bad from the police, all of them. And I 
I've been like, treated the same way as Alaska and Ramirez, and especially now that I'm Richard, I'm Richard Ramirez's sister. They hate the cops, don't like me. I don't like them either, you know, but you know, I think they're all bad cops. They all stick together, and all, all every one of them. And so, they each other's backs, and that one will step up to the plate and say, what you do, what, 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 what Morris did was wrong, because I think they're so scared of chief that they do whatever he wants them to do. Okay. So, let me ask you, if you, what do you want to be when you grow up? A football player. A football player, okay. But if you were to ever become a cop, let's just say you want to become a cop, would you be a good cop or would you be a bad cop like the Billings Police Department? I'd be a good cop. You'd be a good cop. Would you be kind and honest to, to, to the citizens or would you be like Grant Morrison or um, Mr. Ad, uh, Officer Adams or Officer Edwards, or is it, what, in other words, you'd be kind. You'd be honest. Okay. Or humans too. Um, and I have a, something to say. Um, Certainly. There's a, I mean, there's a reason why Officer uh, Finnegan killed himself. I mean, I feel like it has something to do with Richard's case also. Mm -hmm. he, couldn't, he couldn't deal with the guilt that it brought on to him, so he killed himself. That's the way I feel about that. Can you give me a crooked cop? He yeah. said something um, to my uncle Jason one time that Officer Morrison was Finnegan's protege. Mm -hmm. Oh. So I feel like it's all tied together with all of this. So, who told you? Who, now say this again. My, so, my uncle Rick, or my uncle Jason got pulled over by Finnegan one time and introduced Morrison as his protege. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that there may be a link to why yeah, he committed I think, suicide. I think that's part of it. Yes. That's what you're saying. That's what I think. Okay. That makes sense. So, I'm glad you brought that up. So, do you think that the billing, that Billings Chief of Police, Rich St. John, eventually should lose his job for running the department that is falling apart at the seams? Yes, 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 yes definitely. definitely. As soon as possible. I think the sooner he's out of, better, better. Out of the way, I think things will go better if they hire a better person. Yeah. Do you think uh, Police Chief Rich St. John is has become, a court, uh, in your opinion, do you think he's become mentally unstable and unable to handle his own officers? Yes, yes. definitely. Okay. Um, you know, Billings Police Chief at St. John prides himself always by asking the public for more money for his department. He always wants more equipment, more money to hire more officers, blah, 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 and his list goes on. Do you guys think, in your opinion, that he deserves more money for his department? No. Boy, that was <laughs> in unison. Because you know, we don't see anything improving, you know, nothing to improve, it's all to get worse. Okay. Julio, based on fact, the Billings Police Department has more shootings than any other department in the state of Montana. Do you think that this is a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, very, very bad, what they're doing. Now, You've lived your whole life in Billings, correct? Right. Have do you were the officers that bad back then, or are they bad now? No, oh, back in the '60s, they weren't that bad. It is gotten worse today. The worst I've ever seen it in the state of Montana after the death of my son. Okay. You know, my son. Do you hope? And this question is for all of you that you can all each answer. Do you hope that your lawsuit against the city of Billings, St. John, Grant Morrison, Billings Police Department, are you hoping that it will make a difference on how they handle situations like this yes. shooting the other yes. day? Yes, I do. And that's what, you know, I hope that in the future it will change. You know, my brother Richard died, you know, he died for nothing. He died for nothing. He died, you know, and I wanted things to get better here. You know, what about, you know, the future, our kids, because they know, the related to us, the Ramirez, I don't want them to get treated like that. There's mm -hmm. someone else in our family to die because of cops. Sure. Okay. They don't like us. You know, yeah. Remember, yeah, ever since my dad bought the lawsuit, they keep on, they go by my dad's house, they circle my house, they harass us. Right, so the, okay, okay. So what you're telling me is the Billings police, since you filed that lawsuit, worse. are are still harassing you guys and even and, and have increased the harassment? Yes, I think that's how I do. Well, on me, my my son, 
And my, you know, my daughter and all of us. Okay. So now they're just not targeting the guys. They're targeting even ch your children? Yep. So if they're targeting children, uh, don't you think that that's kind of not what their job is? <laughs> yeah. I think it's kind of racial profiling, you know, okay. and, um, guilty by associate, association. Okay. Yeah. We're related to Richard, you know, and they feel like we're all bad so, people. Okay. So but Richard wasn't bad. Okay, so they, so you think that they're, they're racially profiling. Now, it's a statistic that the Billings Police do racial profile people. They've been caught at it. Mm -hmm. In the Ryder report that was when Ron Tussing was in power, that corrupt officer, do you remember him? Yeah. Uh, in the Ryder report, it talked about uh, <coughs> targeting individuals and racialism. So the Billings Police has a history of that. So, so um, you think that that's even gotten worse? Yeah. Okay. Worse. Do you think St. John is really the problem here? I mean, do you think he's the the the, the uh, root cause of yes, the yeah, bad cops? Yes, he's cause of all of it. The SUV, basketball yeah. officer, he allows it. They're, okay. They're doing wrong. Don't you want you know you want to nick up that another nothing that the officers do wrong. Everything's all right to him. So you you know the saying that a bad apple causes all the others to go bad, and do you think that's what's happening here? Yes. It's St. John that needs to be canned, fired, and disciplined by the public, correct? Yes. Okay, that's in your opinion, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, do you think that, Mr. Julio, that uh, Billings Police, Rich St. John, uh, is a bad cop and a bad man? No, I think kill somebody. Just okay. don't do nothing about it. He just sticks up his officers. He so doesn't clean up his officers. He doesn't clean up his officers. No, he he, he, uh, he sticks up. Oh, he sticks up his officers. officers. Okay. So notice that. So he's so he's basically condoning their crooked and illegal activity. Is what you're saying? That's right. Okay. So, do you guys, any guys know Officer Matthew Edwards? No. No, no I don't. Do any of you know Officer Jeremiah Adams? No. Um, what would you be your advice to them now that they have blood on their hands? What's your advice to both those officers? Let's start with you. I would say um, they better retire. Okay. And do something else, you know. They obviously didn't do the right proper protocol, so... What's to say that they're not going to into the proper protocol again? And like Grant Morrison, uh, <coughs> he got the taste of blood, mm -hmm. and he killed again. Yeah. I hate yeah. Officer Grant Morrison when he did my brother. Uh, you know, so he obviously yeah. likes the taste of blood. Is okay. what I think. I feel the same way. You know, they kill once, and they it gets justified, and they do it again. And you fear that those two officers are probably now since they have the taste of blood, yeah. they're going to kill again. Yeah. Yeah. What do you feel? I feel that they should realize how that they killed somebody and that, that somebody was someone's family member and how that how it how it really does you know it hurts you know and I think the mom should that like, they got chased by it but they'll probably like uh, Grant Morrison I don't I trust him I think that they will do it again they should be on the police department they can't follow the protocol and if they're scared or alive you know they should they be trained to do the right thing obviously they're not trained or change the chief change on back in the Okay. Um, you who will? Yeah, the officers are doing their job like they're supposed to, they don't. Okay. They break the rules and set. So let me ask you guys this. Do you feel that Officer Matthew Edwards, Officer Jeremy Adams, Officer Grant Morrison should be dealt justice? By a court, or by the public, or both? Both. When you say both, explain that to me. Um, well, I definitely want justice for what happened to my Uncle Richard. Um, and I think that he should have to... They should fire him? Okay. Yeah. He should be on the, you know, the Billings Police Department. Also, St. John should be not, not on the Billings Police Department. And the public needs to know what they're doing to everybody. Because, they're, you know, they're not here, here to protect us. They're obviously here to hurt. 
Can't even trust it. I mean, so how would they the live in fear every day that they're gonna do something to us? How would they get away with it? How would the public render justice to the department? Get, get, get rid of them. Get like, rid of them. But yeah. Yeah, get them off the we force. Want the know yeah. that we know that. On. We know that they'll never go to prison for what they did, you know. But I mean, at least kick them off the force. Kick them yeah. off the force. Okay. You know that when they get pulled over, they don't even know if they're going to get shot. Yeah. Or what, what, what are the cops going to say? They can lie, and, uh, and they, uh, she said, don't just bounce them up no matter what. When it's they, our family members that they uh, Richard, they killed Richard. We miss our brother. Yeah. When they pulled over my Uncle Richard, they should have did a felony stop on him and had backup there right away instead of Officer Morrison going straight to the vehicle and pulling out his gun and shooting him three times. And this, Murdered him. And, and, and this is this case where Officer Edwards and Officer Adams, Matthew Edwards and Jeremy Adams, they didn't wait for backup. They shot first, then called backup. And that, by the way, has been confirmed by the Montana News from the, the uh, man who is the clerk at the hotel. He, he confirmed that to me yesterday. Okay, so... There's a lot of similarities with these shootings, different situations, different, different circumstances, but, this, but the, the shooting uh, is kind of similar how they, how they did it. Yeah. They laid in wait. Officer Grant Morrison laid in wait, except he stopped and followed. Well, these two officers laid in wait and then uh, caused the issue. Um, what do you want to say directly to, and here's your chance, directly to Rich St. John who prides himself on uh, trying to get the public to think that he's uh, that everything's okay, his department is fine, his officers are, are fine. What do you want to say to him directly? Here's your chance. I want to know why he thinks it's okay what he um, what Officer Grant Morrison did to my uncle. How is that proper protocol? And how come you did? How come you stuck up for him when he, Officer Grant Morrison was in the wrong? Obviously. Okay. You. I just. I want to say, you know, it's, it's, why is it justifying the murder, you know, for murder of my brother? I mean, if you, on the video, you, how, how can anybody justify that, you know? How about you to Rich, Rich and John that I think what you're you, you working at uh, the police force is not the right way, you, you know, you're doing everything the wrong way because how can it be okay to murder someone and get away with it and it's got to stop and the only way you can stop is having him out, out, out of the office. You? Yeah, I feel that uh, anything I'm doing is uh, not using procedures or they just keep to understand why they don't do anything with Grant Morrison or nothing. Sure. They just can skin up I and mean, still That's no matter what. So, go ahead. They treated my Uncle Richard like a dog if you watch that um, video of, of what happened. Um, he shot him three times and then he said, he said that he said, get out or I'm going to shoot you again. And uh, how is he supposed to get out when he's been shot three times? I mean, he got but shot three times. He kicking. He kicking. And, he, and, he, and on that video, he says, I'm dying. You know, and Officer Grant Morrison still has enough nerve to say, get out or I'm going to shoot you again. So, let me ask all of you. Grant Morrison has a wife, and he has a, and he has a child. So, let me ask you. If he goes down over what he did, could, what about his wife and his child? Can obviously take care of themselves. It's not like they're. It's not like they're losing him. To he's not dying, you know, or he's not dead. So. Do you, do you hope someday he's Mr. Morrison is in prison? Yes. yes. I would like that, but I don't. The only thing I would just. And, you, and then if he gets in prison, there are a lot of people there who hate cops. Yeah. He probably will get the justice. He deserves prison it. justice that he probably. What do you, what's your opinion? That he deserves. That he deserves. My opinion, Jesse, oh, yeah. would be that, you know, that he came in and he can him or anybody, is that he did a life for life, so how, well, if that happens to him and he dies, well, so be it, I mean, because in the end, and, and then when he goes in front of God, and God is, you know, and all that, what happens, he's going to be, he's going to be punished for, he, he murdered my brother Richard on purpose. Oh, I don't care what anyone says. Oh, yeah. So let me, let me make it real clear, uh, for our viewers, the, uh, Ramirez family isn't advocating a physical harm to uh, Grant Morrison. But what they are advocating is they want to seek justice so that man never does that, so that uh, Billings Police Chief and all the officers here in Billings uh, uh, 
train better to handle situations and just don't indiscriminately pull out a gun and start shooting. Yeah. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. And they could have changed, okay. Richard, they could have some mouth, you know. When he, Grant Morrison got out of his police car, he had his gun in right his hand. He knew he, he was going to kill my brother Richard, and that's exactly what he did. And thinks he got away with it, but he uh, we we'll go to court, we'll see about that. I so, feel like it was premeditated murder. Yep. I think it was premeditated murder. Like so let me, let me ask you a question, and this is just hypothetical. So if there was a uh, tornado or a, her tree fell on, you know, Mother Nature did something and fell on an, on an officer or Grant Morrison or these two officers, yeah. would you even bat an eye? No. No, Ashley would have been in the I'm not going to give him to kill herself. I say, but I was happy inside. I knew, if I knew he's part of that, the Morris and Finnegan, at least he went around together and retreated. Finnegan, yeah. couldn't, Finnegan couldn't handle the guilt, I feel, so that's why he did what he did. Nobody and, knows what, why he did and it. I and I didn't even care. I didn't care. I didn't care. I didn't care. I didn't care. I was just like, wow. You know, do, you, do you think that the public is, get, is about ready to turn on the Billings police? You know, you hear all the time in the bigger cities how uh, pe people all of a sudden turn on the p cops and then the police have a, a real bad problem. Uh -huh. Do you think that the public here is getting tired of the Billings police being crooked, rude, inconsiderate, um, yeah. uh, they're not being uh, uh, professional in how they handle things? Yeah. Do you think yeah. the public's getting tired of it? Yeah, yeah. I had a petition going once and a lot of people, a lot of people that I saw here on the south side a lot of the people that I didn't even know signed that petition that it was wrong what they were doing. They did it by Brother Richard, and it's wrong what they're doing now. It's Where is that petition? Yeah, it might be at my, my, my house and my paperwork. Okay, can um, we get a copy of that? I, I'll, 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 I'll find a copy and read you. Okay, and um, so in this particular case, I'm going to now here's a real kind of a hard hitting question for you. You and you sat in a, in a cemetery. And we talked about uh, a situation with one of your, with your family member. Do you feel any different now than you did then, all those years ago? No, I don't. I still think about my son every it's day. Hard. Still grieving. I am, and I think I'm going to say, you know, I very much. I think I saw. You with uh, one time right in front of the Gazette office on the corner there being messed with by the uh, marshal's yes. service. Yes. They were roughing you up then. I saw it as a media. I stopped and I watched them all of a sudden straightened up and kind of brush you off and then treat you different. Did you notice that? Yes, yes I was there too. You were there too. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So it does matter when the media steps out and says, hey, we're going to expose you for what you are. And so, again, your goal is for the public to know that the department has some real issues and their policy is, 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 is obvious, something's really yeah. rotten. Is that what you think? Yes, I thought you know that. Okay. You know, the, what you did to Richard, you know, the police department, and not one of them step up to the place, you know, they don't, they, they're like scared, they're scared of the chief that, they do that to be a fired or, but you know, come on, one of the officers have to know that that was wrong, I mean, and we had to get it to my brother, and my mom, so beard my brother would have died, she, you know, she was, she was heartbroken, she couldn't handle it. So your mom passed away um, just hours after the coroner's inquest, correct? So your mom uh, basically had a, uh, what, what, a broken heart? A massive heart attack, you know. Okay. Um, you then ended up having a stroke, right. stress induced because of the Billings Police Department and what they did to your son, correct? Correct. Now, all of the Ramirez family has been affected, even the children. They're going after the children from what you're saying, guys, are telling me, yeah. telling the media that the officers now are targeting your little children. Yeah. Is that correct? Okay. So, once again, do you feel that the shooting at the Lazy KT Motel and the shooting and, and killing of your uh, relative are a huge red flag and indication that the Billings Police Department needs to change their policy yes. Yes. immediately? Yes. 
And once again, you're telling the media and the public that Billings Police Chief Rich St. John is corrupt, yes. Very is dirty, yeah. yes. needs to be fired or gotten rid of. Am I correct? Yes. yes. In your opinion? Yes. Okay. Is that your opinion too? Right. Okay. And if I heard you right, if you were a cop, well, you want to be a football player and you grow up, but if you were a cop, you would be a good cop, correct? Yes. And you wouldn't treat, would you treat people the way these Billings police officers are treating people? No. You would treat them with what? Respect. With respect. Bingo. From the words of a little mouth of a child comes the truth. Treat the public with respect, Billings Police, yes. and the public will respect you. Yeah. From the words of a child, if you don't respect the public, the public won't respect you. One of these days, it's going to backfire. Officers' jobs are supposed to be pro to protect the yeah. citizens, you know, not danger them or murder them. Yeah. Like they have been. Or pick up any water shoot, you know, and they don't build on a product protocol. I don't understand that. He's been fired. Okay. Anything else that you would like to bring up? I think I covered it. Okay. I think I covered it. I just I can't wait till we go to the federal court to have our day in court. Probably two to come out, and, you know, and everyone can see the public can see what they did to our family. To our family. And my brother it was definitely wrong. They didn't never. Respect any, any of us, and they still don't respect any of us. Your last name is Ramirez. Mr. Ramirez? No, I just feel like, um, uh, as when they shot him, and I'm, they treated him like an animal instead of a human. After I saw the video on TV, and Grandma said, Richard, he just yanked the door. And, Bam, bam, bam! And I was in, and my son was wearing a white hat, and he just, I see my son, he's falling. I can't even watch the video, I don't watch it twice, it's too sad to watch it. I can't watch it either. No respect whatsoever. Miss Richard, my mom, or my Richard more than anything. Oh, yeah. This uh, video, uh, perfect. this video has been sponsored by several businesses in town. I want you folks to know that. Uh, who support the truth coming out to the public. One of those businesses I'd like it, uh, to let you know is Gorham Park Laundry. They are a laundry service. They're located in 1902 Broadwater Avenue and uh, they uh, support uh, the truth coming out. The uh, Billings Detail Service, they support the truth coming out. Uh, we have uh, probably 13 other businesses that have uh, help pay for this uh, interview and the publication of this interview who also support your uh, the truth coming out and so I want you to know and to, that uh, people in the Billings public and businesses do support well, we appreciate the truth it. coming out. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate all your work. And with that, this is uh, investigator reporter Donald Cyphers for Montana News.